大家好，我係 Tiffany 啊，今日又想同大家做一集名人英語啦。而今日咧，我哋嘅主角咧就係、是、又識唱歌，又識作曲，又識煮飯，又識做生意嘅謝霆鋒先生啦。咁如果你有興趣咧，就睇落去啦。呢段影片咧就係、是、截錄自之前佢喺 UST 即係科大嗰度咧嘅演講嘅，咁大家一齊睇下咯喎。Hello， 嗯、um, ，thank you for the warm welcome and、uh, ladies and gentlemen， welcome and thank you for having me on campus。This is truly、uh, overwhelming、really.。咁佢最初咧就介紹翻自己啦。Hello， 嗯、um, ，thank you for the warm welcome and ladies and gentlemen。Welcome and thank you for having me on campus. This is truly overwhelming. 咁前邊咧嗰啲冇乜特別嗰啲我就唔講啦，我就係講兩個字啫。第一個 campus, campus。咁大家可能都識啦，就係校園嘅意思啦。無論係大學嘅校園、中學嘅校園、小學嘅校園咧，只要係校園咧，都可以用 campus 呢一個字嘅。This is truly overwhelming. This is truly overwhelming. Overwhelming 其實嗰個意思可以係正面，可以係負面嘅，可以係令人覺得難以招架，或者咁依度就當然應該唔係負面嘅意思啦，就唔係令人難以招架嘅意思啦，可以係令人覺得誒好、呃、振奮，可以係令人有好強嘅情緒反應咁嘅意思。This is truly overwhelming， 即係話咧嗰啲學生嘅反應好熱烈嘅意思啦。咁 overwhelming 咧就係令人覺得好振奮，或者令人有強烈情緒啦。咁如果你想講話人哋好熱烈歡迎你，令到你覺得咧好受歡迎喎，你可以話 I feel overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed. 咁留意咧 pronunciation tip 就係咧 H 係唔發音嘅，咁所以你唔會聽到 overwhelmed， 而係 overwhelmed， 咁就 OK 噶啦。咁同埋個 e d 咧係發 d 音嘅，所以係 overwhelmed。如果你唔知幾時個 e d 發咩音嘅話咧，就可以睇翻呢段片。Um, I am instructed to deliver the speech in English, so therefore I will be speaking in English. But if any of you feel more comfortable speaking in Cantonese or in Mandarin, please feel free to do so. 咁跟住佢就話啦 ，I'm instructed to deliver the speech in English, so therefore I'll be speaking in English. But if any of you feel more comfortable speaking in Cantonese or Mandarin, please feel free to do so. 咁佢就話咧 ，I'm instructed。咁當然呢度咧，佢係用咗個 B 加 P P 一個 passive voice 啦。而呢個 passive voice 咧就係 in simple present tense 即係一個簡單現在式嘅。所以佢就話 ，I'm instructed， 而唔係 I was instructed 啦。佢就係我被指示啦 ，deliver the speech。deliver 同 speech 呢一兩個字咧夾埋一齊好自然嘅一個好自然嘅 collocation 配搭詞語配詞嚟嘅，即係話我係被指示啦，要用英文咁樣咧去講呢一個 speech 嘅。I'm instructed to deliver the speech in English. So therefore， 所以啦 ，I'll be speaking in English。我就會用英文講嘢啦。咁咧，有啲同學咧就會啊諗得好多啦，就會話啊 ，so y o u r therefore 咁會唔會 redundant 啊？會唔會多餘啊？咁當然啦，我哋寫作嘅時候盡量唔會多餘啦。但係有時講嘢嘅時候咧，因為我哋都要俾翻自己少少時間諗嘢嘅，咁所以有時有少少多餘，只要唔係太礙眼，唔係成日太著跡，俾太人哋太差嘅感覺，太 hesitant 嘅話咧，只要唔係太多猶疑位嘅話咧，其實通常我哋都冇所謂噶啦。But if any of you feel more comfortable， 如果你哋之中有任何人啦 ，if any of you feel more comfortable， 覺得舒服啲，做咩覺得舒服啲啊？就係、是、speaking in Cantonese or Mandarin， 即係話咧，如果你哋講廣東話或者講普通話會舒服啲嘅話咧，咁就 if any of you feel more comfortable speaking in Cantonese or Mandarin。咁呢度咧，佢個 speaking in Cantonese or Mandarin 咧，就係、是、用咗一個 participle phrase， 即係話動副詞嘅。咁誒、呃，所以啦 ，speaking 呢一個字咧，雖然你見到佢 ing 尾啦，但係其實佢唔係一個 finite verb， 佢係冇 tense 可言嘅。但係 feel 嗰度咧就有 tense 可言啦。呢度咧就係、是、用咗一個 simple present tense 嘅。咁如果你唔明白 finite verb 同 non-finite verb 有 tense 嘅動詞同冇 tense 嘅動詞嘅運用咧，你就可以留意下我哋嗰、那個誒成人英語再起步嘅章程啦。咁我哋第二期就有教授嘅，無論如何啦，依個係一個動副詞 participle phrase 嘅句構啦。Please feel free to do so. Please feel free to do so. Feel free 亦都可以咧講做 Please do not hesitate to do so. Please do not hesitate to do so. 請你唔好猶豫去咁做啦。請你唔好猶豫用普通話或者廣東話講嘢啦，因為你可以用翻你自己語言嘅。Do so. I do hope that at the end of this session, both parties, you and I, will gain something out of it. And leave behind a somewhat kick-ass memory. All right. 跟
住佢就話啦 ，I do hope that at the end of the session, both parties, you and I, will gain something out of it and leave behind a somewhat kick-ass memory, all right? 咁咧佢就好得體啦，呢度都係講就話，我希望啦，當然啦，佢就咁講 ，I hope 就冇 I do hope 個語氣咁重啦。咁講 I do hope 嘅話咧，就加咗一個輔助動詞 do 喺裏邊嘅。That at the end of the session, 喺依一節嘅最尾啊 ，at the end of the session, both parties 兩邊兩班人啦、啊，通常 party 依度當然就唔係派對啦，就係、是、一一個 party 就一班人，咁兩班人即係話 Nicholas 姐自己同埋嗰啲學生啦 ，You and I 你同我啦 ，will gain something out of it。咁 to gain something out of another thing 都係一個幾常用嘅 phrase 嚟嘅，咁我哋通常從一啲嘢獲得另一啲嘢咧，通常我哋都會話咧 gain a。Out of B 噶啦，咁都除咗 out of 依一個 preposition 之外咧，都唔會用第二個 preposition， 唔會用第二個介係詞噶啦。And leave behind a somewhat kick-ass memory, all right? And leave behind a somewhat kick-ass memory, all right? 依度咧即係話咧留低啦，咁 leave behind 就係留低啦。A somewhat kick-ass memory， 咁依度可能係各位同學覺得最難理解嘅地方嚟噶。咁 somewhat 咧就係通常用嚟修飾 adjective， 用嚟修飾形容詞嘅。喺依度咧佢就係修飾 kick-ass 依個形容詞啦。Somewhat kick-ass 即係話咧都幾啦，大概係啦，都幾係好嘅一個。回憶嘅，咁 kick ass 就係好嘅意思啦，即係等於 great 啦，類似係 fabulous 啦，類似係誒 fantastic 嘅意思啦。咁但係 kick ass 呢個字咧好似型啲嘅，咁大家想象咧嗰個喺嗰啲 superhero movie 嗰度咧，即係有個 superhero 出嚟，呀咁樣咧，即係起飛腳咁樣踢嗰啲壞人啊 ，kick ass。咁大家應該就會記得呢個字嘅運用啦。kick ass 即係 great， 即係好型或者好好嘅意思。Leave behind a somewhat kick ass memory， 即係話留低一啲美好嘅回憶啦。好冇 ，all right， 好冇，就係、是、all right 啦，咁就相等於大概係 OK 啦。Wow， this is、uh, this is really intense right now for me <笑>。Really， because it's maybe it's because of the first time I I'm showing up as an as an entrepreneur in front of a crowd。Wow, this is really intense right now for me. 咁大家咧，如果想講英文自然啲嘅話咧，不妨咧有時都可以練下點樣去用呢啲嘅啊 exclamatory word 或者感嘆詞啊。咁 wow 係其中一個最簡單嘅咧，就係用嚟表示啊一啲強烈嘅情緒啊、驚訝等等嘅。Wow, this is really intense for me right now. 咁咧大概就可以譯到，哇！我企喺度嘅真係都唔係嘢少嘅喎，咁樣啦。咁好難去直接去翻譯 intense 呢個字，咁如果大家翻查字典咧，就會知道可以係強烈嘅意思啦，可以係犀利嘅意思啦，可以係誒好恐怖，甚至帶啲恐怖、帶啲令人驚嘅意思、帶啲令人緊張嘅意思啦。咁 intense 呢個字咧，只要一樣嘢咧係俾到你強烈情緒嘅，即係例如會令到你好緊張啦，多數咁你哋都可以攞 intense 呢個字嚟形容啦，可以攞嚟形容人啦，例如佢話誒。啊你可以話佢令我好緊張，個校長令你好緊張啊 ，he is a really intense person。咁跟住你就話，如果你想講話嗰刻嗰、那個時刻係一個令你緊張嘅時刻，又可以 ，it is a really intense moment 啦，又可以。咁如果你話一個場合令你緊張，亦都可以話 ，this is a really intense occasion right now。咁都可以嘅。咁 intense 呢個字可以形容人，亦都可以形容物件。Maybe it's because it's the first time I'm showing up as an entrepreneur in front of a crowd。未必依度咧就係一個 adverb 啦。咁如果大家唔識分未必連埋一齊同未必分開咧，咁可能大家可以留言咧下邊睇我之後有冇時間講啦。It's because it's the first time I'm showing up。今次咧 ，it's the first time I'm showing up。我出現啦 ，show up 即係出現啦。咁大家可能聽過容祖兒嗰首歌叫 show up 係咪？咁唔知佢喺夏天嗰個演唱會會唔會唱啦 ？As an entrepreneur in front of a crowd。As an entrepreneur in front of a crowd, entrepreneur 呢個字咧，以我所知，起碼有兩個讀音啦，一個係 entrepreneur， 一個係 entrepreneur。咁兩個咧都有人讀嘅。咁呢個字應該係嚟自法文啦，所以你見到咧咁奇怪啦 ，e n 又讀 on 啦，係咪？咁呢度 entrepreneur 即係話一個企業家嘅意思。咁通常如果你講咧一個 businessman 咧，嗰個規模啊就好似冇咁大嘅，就係一個生意人啫。但係 entrepreneur 咧仲要係企業家喎，好有視野嘅感覺嘅，咁就係 entrepreneur 啦。啊、uh, ，I'm showing up as an entrepreneur in front of a crowd， 就係我喺一班人面前咧，以企業家嘅身份行出嚟咁嘅意思啦。What is really odd is that I have been doing this most of my life. I have been giving speeches and performances and talks around the world.、Uh, The crowds ranging from 30 people to 130,000 people, 
but never have I been so uptight and <laughs> nerve-wracking because maybe it's because I am simply put in front of a crowd of academics and I feel that I am actually out of my league. I do feel that I am talking to another caliber. I'm left out. What is really odd is that I've been doing this most of my life. I've been giving speeches and performances and talks around the world for crowds ranging from 30 people to 130,000 people, but never have I been so uptight and nerve-wracking. Maybe it's because I'm simply put in front of a crowd of academics. I feel I'm actually out of my league. I do feel that I'm talking to another caliber. I'm left out. 好啦，咁呢度咧都有好多一啲好詞啦、好句嘅。咁第一個啦 ，What is really odd? What is really odd? 一樣奇怪嘅嘢就係啦。What is really odd is? What is really odd is? 咁後邊一樣嘢啦，咁你佢就話 I've been doing this most of my life。咁我之前都有講過啦。誒、uh, ，have 啦，加 been 啦，再加 ing form 咧。咁或者 has 啦，加 been 啦，加 ing form 咧，依一個嘅。Present perfect continuous tense 咧，都係用嚟講一啲你由以前做到而家做咗好耐嘅嘢，咁你會用呢個 tense 啦。What is really odd is that I've been doing this most of my life。奇怪嘅嘢係咧，誒、呃、我做咗依樣嘢已經好耐噶啦。咁當單獨聽依一句，梗係未必明啦。咁我哋繼續聽落去啦。I've been giving speeches and performances and talks around the world。咁咧，我一直以嚟咧都有喺世界各地啦，嚇好耐噶啦，做咗呢件事喺世界各地啦，就係、是、俾一啲演講啦，亦都會做表演啦，亦都會講講座啦，啊等等啦，就 around the world 喺世界各地啦 ，for crowds 俾羣眾嘅，依啲羣眾有幾大咧？咁跟住佢再用一個咧簡短版嘅 relative clause， 即係一個 adjectival clause， 即係一個形容詞子句咧去講嘅。Ranging from 30 people to 130,000 people， 跟住佢就再補充啦，啲觀眾有幾大群呢？原來咧就有三十人至到十三萬人咁多嘅觀眾都有嘅，咁即係話咧個觀眾群咧個大細咧爭好遠都有試過啦。Yeah. The crowds ranged from 30 people。To 130,000 people. 咁但係依度咧，因為佢用一個 relative clause 啦，咁當然亦都可以講 crowds which range from 30 people to 130,000 people 嘅。咁但係佢就講咗簡略版，就變成 crowds ranging from 30 people to 130,000 people 啦。Clause 咧，只句依個 concept 我都喺之前好多個 video 都有提過噶啦。咁你除咗可以咧睇翻之前 video 之外，如果你仲係唔明咩係一個 clause， 咩係一個子句咧？依、这個咁重要 concept 唔明白嘅話咧，其實你都可以留意翻我哋嘅課程章程嘅，咁再起步嗰課程都會有教嘅。But never have I been so uptight。咁呢度咧就係一個好好嘅句型啦，因為咧佢就先講 never 依一個 adverb 啦，跟住再講依個 have 依一個 auxiliary verb， 跟住再 I been so uptight。咁成日都會聽到依一個句型嘅 ，never have I been so uptight 嘅意思咧，即係話咧我從來都未試過咁正襟。危咗咁緊張嘅，咁你成日都可以講 never have I， 跟住再加 P P 去講一啲嘢嘅。咁呢度講 never have I been so uptight 嘅意思話，我從來未試過係咁緊張啦。咁佢就用 be， 跟住變成 P P 嘅 form 就用 been 呢一個嘅 verb 嘅。咁前邊就亦都要加 have 啦，因為佢係用緊一個 present perfect tense 噶嘛，用緊一個現在完成式嘅。Never have I been so uptight. 我從來未試過咁緊張。Never have I had a meal like this. Never have I drunk wine like this. Never have I bought a luxury item like this. 好啦，跟住 a nerve wracking。咁嚴格嚟講咧，佢依個 nerve wracking 呢個字咧就唔係用得啱嘅，因為 nerve wracking 咧只可以形容一件事件啦，或者通常形容事件都好少形容人啦。nerve wracking 嘅意思即係話咧令人緊張嘅。This event has been really nerve wracking for me. Uh, this talk has been really nerve wracking for me. 咁嘅意思即係話咧，依件事件或者依一個嘅短講咧，都令我感到好緊張。咁咧就好難話形容。我啊，形容 Nicholas 姐自己，形容人自己嘅。咁因為我唔可以令人緊張啊嘛，我只可以自己緊張。咁你可以，如果要正確咁講咧，我哋可以話 Never have I been so uptight and nervous 都得嘅。咁你亦都可以話啦 ，Never have I been in an event which is so nerve-wracking。因為咧，你見到啲 ing 尾嘅
呢啲形容詞啦，就好似 exciting、boring 咁啦，通常都係形容事件或者死物噶啦。咁你見到咧嗰啲依啲尾嗰啲形容詞咧，例如 excited 啊、bored 啊依啲咧，咁通常都係形容人自己個感受啦。我感到緊張或者我感到無聊，我感到悶啦。Maybe it's because I'm simply put in front of a crowd of academics。可能就係因為咧，我俾人哋咧誒放喺一班學者面前啦。Maybe it's because I'm simply put in front of a crowd of academics。咁亦都可以講 a bunch of academics 啦 ，and academic 就係一個學者一個學術人員啦 ，academics 自然就係超過一個嘅學術人員啦。I feel that I'm actually out of my league。咁 out of my league 呢個字咧，從達意嘅角度嚟講，當然我哋明 Nicholas 姐明白謝霆鋒想講咩咧，就係話即係我唔係喺我平時相處慣嗰班人之中。咁但係咧，通常 out of my league 呢個字咧。誒、um, 都係有帶有高攀唔起嘅感覺啦。此話何説咧？點樣用呢？其實原來咧，通常我哋會用 out of my league 嘅字咧，就係咁樣用嘅。例如話、uh, i feel that、uh, Dixon is out of my league。我覺得誒、uh, Dixon 呢個人咧係係我高攀唔起佢啊！佢根本同我唔係一班嘅嚇，唔佢係唔係我個 class， 唔係我個班，我根本好高攀佢就係、是、He is out of my league 啦。咁例如你話依個男神係 out of your league 嘅，依、这個女神係 out of your league 咁就可以啦。依度咧佢就有少少斷章取義咁樣用咗依個意思咧，就係、是、話、呃、我唔係喺一班我平時慣常玩開嗰班人嗰度。咁因為其實你應該話 I feel that these academics are out of my league， 即係話我高攀唔起依啲 academics 啊嘛，唔係應該話我係。高攀唔起我自己啊嘛，咁所以、呃、大家可以留意一下啦。不過我唔係話佢溝通得唔好嘅，因為其實我哋聽到佢講呢啲 phrase 咧，其實如果你識呢個 phrase， 你都會明佢講咩嘅。其實佢個流暢度亦都非常之好嘅。咁所以我唔係想彈佢，只不過想同大家講翻 out of my league 呢一個 phrase 可以點樣用啫。I do feel that I'm talking to another caliber。咁呢一句咧就完全好恰當啦。caliber 呢個字咧，誒除咗可以攞嚟形容咧啲手槍嘅口径之外咧，咁亦都可以攞嚟形容人嘅能力嘅。caliber 就係能力啦。咁例如你話 ，Indeed he plays the piano very well， but the pianist is in another entirely different caliber。嘅意思即係話咧，佢的確彈琴係幾叻，但係依一個鋼琴家更加係另一馬子嘅事，或者另一個級別啊，完全唔同班啊咁樣嘅意思。咁 caliber 依個字咧，雖然啦，你如果睇翻字典咧，佢表面上嘅意思咧，佢就係寫 the quality of someone's character or the level of their ability。咁佢就係純粹好似好 neutral、好中性咁樣講咧。但係通常依個字咧講得出咧都係好勁噶啦，講得出咧都係攞嚟讚人噶啦。咁所以例如你話誒、um, ，a man of his caliber is hard to find。咁經常咧跟個 of 依個 preposition 一齊用啦。咁寫埋一齊咧嘅意思即係話咧，佢咁樣嘅醋藝嘅人啊，佢咁樣嘅誒、呃、性情啊嘅人咧，真係好難揾嘅。佢咁叻嘅人真係好難揾啊。咁所以咧，成日都攞依個 caliber 依個字去讚人，同埋成日同依一個 of 依一個 preposition 一齊使用嘅。I do feel that I'm talking to another caliber。我啊真係覺得自己咧，直情係同緊另一個世界嘅人講嘢，另一班嘅人講嘢啦咁啊。I'm left out. I'm left out. 即係話我咧係好孤獨嘅。咁呢度咧我都係弱兩翼啦。咁當然可能大家有啲好啲嘅譯法咧。我係孤單一人，或者我同人哋係唔同，或者人哋係勁過我好多嘅，就係、是、I'm left out 嘅意思啦。I'm left out 當然表面嘅意思就係我被他人拋棄。或者我被他人離棄，我剩翻一個人啦。但係依度嘅意思即係話咧，我我咁屎，我咁渣嘅人，可能我讀書咁渣嘅人啦，暗示啊，只係得我一個啫。咁其他成棚人，成棚嗰啲教授都係讀書好叻嘅人，所以佢就話 I'm left out 啦。唔知大家覺得謝霆鋒嘅英文講成點咧？可以喺下面留言話俾我知啦。咁咧，我好細個時候已經聽謝霆鋒嘅歌啦，即係嗰啲咩遊樂場啊，即係嗰啲誒活著 Fever 嗰啲咧。咁其實細個咧就唔知佢講英文咧，原來咁好聽嘅。咁佢都係屬於咧講嘢好有 point 啦，好 brief 啦，好 concise 啦，即係好好簡潔啊，亦都係好流暢嘅藝人之一嚟嘅。咁甚至我覺得佢講嘢咧，比起啲 TVB 嘅。花旦咧更加有內容添，因為佢好 experience 啦咁樣。其實佢講嘢真係唔錯嘅，我唔知佢廚藝點啦，但係佢講嘢真係唔錯。咁下次咧，大家想我講邊個藝人嘅英文咧，都可以喺下面留言話俾我知嘅。咁希望下次好快會見到大家啦，拜拜。